can't do nothing, can't go to the home screen, can't actually do it, so let's close it. Alright. And instead of starting it back up and then going to the settings directly that way, I'm just going to do it this way. This is the settings I was using that I found that got me around the issue. Custom megabytes, um, 8196. So this buffs it up to a um, 8 gigabyte. Uh, whoops, save. And then uh, display. This is what you, you can keep on this, but I'm just want to take advantage of my um, system and hardware. So I'm going to do uh, 1920, 1080, and uh, take advantage of my monitor with the 240 DPI. And then DirectX Open Gel. This is for if you're using BlueStacks. All right. This is the workaround if you're using BlueStacks. Now this is my secondary account, and you see that already looks like a little better as it is. So let's actually um, go full screen on this. I don't think I could do anything with the in-game stuff right there. No, I cannot. So let's go in here. I'm gonna say no or cancel because I'm going to put the graphics, in-game graphics, on high. See, it kind of already looks a little better as it is. Just a little bit, except for the characters. Um, but now let's put the in-game graphics on high and I'm going to take advantage of all this. There, see? It already looks better as it is. Now let's go into here. Now, like I said, the downside to this is that you do not get the animation for the banners. This is the downside. But the ups, and that's just a minor downside in my opinion. Like, I'm just like, so what? And then, um, but we're going to show that it works. Just so we can get through this as fast as possible. Now you saw it wasn't working with normal speed. No all the on with all the off. Now we're going to just turn all of it on. Let's go through this. And now I'm going to show you the emulator that I am now using on my primary account and how it works so much better than BlueStacks and there will be a link in the description um, to it because it comes pre-installed with Slime Mitsukai Memories and um, it has the Android 9 um, with it and the DirectX if you want the animation banner um, which it does look cool I enjoy it myself but like I said, it's a small deal price to pay to play the game on Blue Sacks. I mean, the graphics look so much better already as it is taking advantage of everything that I, I can take advantage of. See, we're on turn four now. Everything's going smooth. Rimuru is going to get devoured here soon. Here, skip. Uh, 
Ah, I remember when this guy in. So yeah, this look how smooth and clean this is right now. Alright, so that's with Blue Stacks 5. Now, with the settings that I showed how to get to work. Now, here is the one that I am using with my primary account. I am using Nux uh, Player. It already, as you can see here, Android 9, 64 bit. Unlike, um,. Bluestacks, where it shows Pi 64 bit beta, and I think this is probably why it's not working too well on uh, Bluestacks. Because to get the Android 9 for Bluestacks, you gotta use the beta, like it won't work with um, it won't work with regular, and just to show that it won't work with the regular one. Ah, bless me. Um, okay, so this is not my main, it's not my main email, um, okay, it's not Sonya in here, so let's go into search game. Like, it doesn't even pop up. Like, it is non existent because this is Android 8. This is not Android 9. This is Android, you need Android 9 with the um, the beta. Um, Next player, from what I have been seeing and understanding, is that it's already Android 9 and it's not even a beta. Um, and it comes pre installed. Slime Music High comes pre-installed into it. So that means all you gotta do is log in with um, whichever email address you're wanting that you're using or you're wanting to use with it and it loads right, right into it. And if you're wondering like, oh, it doesn't have DirectX on or something. Okay, well, here's the basic settings. Here in the performance settings. Basic mode DirectX right there. Interface is not important. Sound, uh, just leave this alone game have um i don't think that is on when the system shows lag or game crashes please turn off the texture um I, i've been using it i i haven't had a problem go full screen Again, like I was saying, um, for Bluestacks 5, um, the Pi 64-bit beta that has Android 9 in order to use this um, game on it, if they're showing that it works with DirectX on, it's not Bluestacks itself. They did something with their computer uh, within the operating system of their computer to allow it to work. I don't know what that is or how to interface with all that um there's there's a video out there where a person saying like oh you gotta disable such and such and, and get to work and then there was another one a website that says like oh you gotta install this to make sure you got the uh v player um uh disabled in your computer so you could be able to play this and then there's another one saying that oh you have to have the v player enable hi right there Right, so uh, I was already in that to go to it. So let's show you. 
It's like it works. This is my main account. Um, I honestly believe my second account is probably probably going to be my better account. I just got improve on things on it. Um, but I just want to show this. I, I just want to try to help people to be able to play this game on PC. And this is Nux is the Nux player is the emulator that I found that works well with this game. When I looked it up online to like what's the best emulator, there were three: LD Player, and I said it came pre-installed with um, Slimy Sakai, but yet um, when I logged into a my primary email so I could play it, it was gone. Um, and then I was like, okay, well, let me uninstall and reinstall and let me use a dud email address. Maybe it's because of my primary is registered with my, um, with my main phone. So I go and try to do that. Actually, let me do this because, um, and he's going to do his, this turn two, he's going to do the second attack and you're going to see that it works just fine. See, no freeze, no lagging. Uh, kind of don't like how all this is. Uh, I'll just do this. So, did not kill him off. But this will, because he's weak against light. And the plus side for those who care about the animation for the banner, well, I guess what? You get the animation for the banner on this. So here you go, people. There's the animation for the banners. Um, yep. This one doesn't have the option for all the extra stuff. So there you go. Like, I just wanted to share this. I wanted to show, like, hey, this is what it was recommended in Bluestacks uh, when this game shortly came out um, globally. And then um, those settings I showed that was being recommended, they don't work. If they do work, they're doing something else and they're just not showing it. Uh, I found a workaround for it. The downside was no animation for the banners, but it works on blue stacks like um, with it being like that. And like I said, Nux Player works. At the link I will have a link in the description to this, and it comes installed with pre-installed with Slime Sakai Memories, and it uses Android 9 and 64-bit. And uh, I really hope this helps you guys to be able to fully play the game without any worries. Uh, you all have a good one.